हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड इवनिंग आशीष प्रभात दनकर रोहित रेस्ट ऑफ यू या मीटिंग आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम सो इट समी वॉज सेंग दैट आपने संन्यास ले लिया सो इट वॉज नथिंग लाइक दैट इट वॉज जस्ट दैट there was no exam nothing so uh, you guys were having fun i was also having fun just that nothing else so yes the exam is back so we are back to business this is it uh, we'll be doing a a few sessions before prelims uh, an analysis and all random sessions like that something in quant reasoning something in ds and yes that's the agenda for the day yes uh, the 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 agenda you already know for today it's the reasoning analysis please do not prod me start now start now what is this here i've already started right so uh, the agenda simple I'll, i'll be discussing the uh, the the paper uh, the ob free mock and uh, just the reasoning section and we'll discuss the solutions of all 35 questions over there fine so i'll be discussing absolutely everything over there i i to be honest i did not find the paper to be very tough uh, it was it was moderate difficulty level i hope you know the numbers over there uh, you, you've got an idea as to um, um, they uh, i i don't know if they've given the cut off or not but you definitely know what score at what percentile things like that so i'll share that first with you and then we'll start with the solutions and all yeah right 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 so let me just uh, remove myself from here i'm not required and then let's start with us and uh, just just a small request to all of you please please um, stick to my agenda for the next 1 minute and a half hour uh, so you might have 100 questions i understand that regarding different things but for this for this 1 minute and a half hour i i you know keep answering all your questions on fb and all the other channels as well fine but for this 1 minute and a half hour please stick to my agenda i'll give you chance to express your opinion give your feedback and the rest of the things as well but do not ask me ye file kahan milega wo kahan milega and all such things in the next 1 minute and a half hours that that's going to interrupt the session right now listen to me uh, we'll we'll talk we'll talk of the session we'll talk in between the session but listen to me first uh, the the data that i got about this test is like this uh, this is what i got to know you know uh, ob is a uh, i mean it's considered the toughest uh, when it comes to test series and all uh, ob is generally considered the toughest of uh, them all in terms of uh, the quality of questions you know uh, the standard of questions and some people say that it's slightly above the uh, level of the actual test the actual svi po prelims exam might be true might not be true i cannot say that that's very subjective but yes the, the quality of the test series is definitely very good so uh, in this Uh, you know you, you keep asking things like uh, what's a good score what's a good percentile so uh, number one in terms of uh, good score there is no good score as such uh, it depends on the difficulty level so in terms of percent percentile if you're talking about it i have generally uh, believed that if you're getting a 95 percentile in ob generally when which would be a little less for other test series uh, because of the quality of students uh, you are on course it doesn't mean that you'll not strive hard for a 98 or a 99 or a or 100 fine but it means that you are generally on course this is one uh, two is uh, that if when i when i looked at this paper the 95 percentile you know was uh, this marks just 37 out of 100 i mean it looked pretty manageable to me 99 percentile i'll also tell you i'm i'm, I'm sure uh, most of you have done this analysis already it'll be about 100 do not say it's 45.12 i do not know uh, but yes roughly these were the numbers my memory is serving me right so 95 percentile at 37 and 99 percentile at 45 out of 100 uh, unfortunately i did not have got uh, I, i haven't got this scores for sectionals but i would uh, still want to believe that people uh, you know just did not score very very well in this there were a, a few Uh, surmas with 100 out of 100 as well you know how they get 100 out of 100 there fine but apart from that it was pretty balanced and people did not score too much so somebody who's getting a 40 in this test for example is not doing too badly i have always always maintained uh, you, you you know you, you know this that when you are doing a question sitting at your home uh, visibly in a test and uh, more importantly when you are in an actual exam it it makes a hell lot of difference so if i give you a puzzle at times you'll say sorry bahut aasan hai it's very easy no it it's generally not easy that easy when you do that same puzzle under exam pressure then you would know that it's, it's a little tougher so uh, this has got four puzzles i i do not think that any of them is tougher uh, probably a few cases and all that's that's all we are going to discuss that but they were all doable 
I'm, I'm sure uh, those of you who have actually analyzed this paper, analyzed this paper means, I mean, after taking the test, you have seen all those 35 questions and the solutions and everything. You must have realized that you made certain mistakes if you could not touch a 20 here out of 35. 20 out of 20, 35 was achievable. If you're getting a 25, 30, that's wonderful. If you're crossing a 30, that's phenomenal. If you're not getting a 15 in this test out of 35, then that's bad. I will not mince words over there. Uh, the exam is just one month away. Pull up your socks. It's time to work hard. 15 in this test was definitely achievable. There were a few questions that were absolute sitters. For example, syllogisms. As basic as they can get. Uh, the way syllogism should be. No only wala questions. No cannot be, can't be, can never be. And all those kinds of questions that I think generally do not appear even. Fine. So all those all those things were there. They were, they were pretty simple. There was a puzzle uh, that was very simple. Uh, the question on blood relations were very simple. Directions is always generally simple. So even if you do not know anything much, uh, tough puzzles and all, 1520 was definitely achievable in this. And that's the agenda of the session. I will try to show to you that with a good, uh, decent question selection, you could have scored something over here. Having said that, we are going to discuss everything. I'm, I'm going to solve all 35 questions along with you. Uh, expectation is that you have seen the questions already. So before puzzles, I'll probably just give you one minute to have a quick look at it so that you realize what the data is about and then we'll proceed on this. If you want to say something, say something now and then I'll proceed with the session then. Uh, Sagar, uh, please reply. You can see that I'm talking and that's why I'm not reading the comments. Now I'm reading the comments. If there's something special, tell me. If it's not related to the session, please do not. <laughs> no, no, the beard is, uh, has got nothing to do with hard work, but yes, I'm very lazy. So that's, that's, yes, that's there. Uh, Sagar will, will do the puzzles. We're going to do these puzzles. So, so don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Shipra, that's very subjective. Shipra is saying full marks in English are possible but cannot be said about the other two. Uh, Shipra, there will be people who will say full marks in quant are possible but cannot be said the same about English. So it's it's very subjective. It's uh, <laughs> okay. Let's continue with this. Then we'll we'll keep talking in between and after the session. <laughs> uh. Uh, Rohit, uh, Rohit is asking a good question. He's saying, what is that score that you think you must have got in this test? Uh, Rohit, I'll still say the same. Uh, this was achievable. A 37 out of 100 was definitely achievable. If you're not at 37, a score between 30 to 37 in one hour was definitely doable. And I know a lot of good people who scored around 40 and they were sad at this 40. So that's good. That's a good sign. You're trying to improve. 37 was not a bad score, uh, but that was achievable at the same time. Between 30 and 37, you are on course. If it's less than 30, uh, there is some trouble. I'm, I'm not saying up race men and you and all. No, definitely not. I'm just saying it's probably time to work on your test taking skills now. That's that's extremely important at this stage. Okay, questions to start. Karte Let me just start with the questions straight away then. I'm showing you the first puzzle with which we'll start. Uh, all my gyan and everything is going to continue in between, right? So this is the first puzzle. Just have a quick look at it before we solve it. Uh, Vikas, can we can we discuss the generic uh, generic stuff after the session? Uh, after we are done with questions and all, it's going to uh, you know interrupt with the flow of the session. Let's just discuss the questions quickly and then we'll keep doing that. Do not think that I'm ignoring or something. No, I'll be there till the time you want me to be. But let's just start with the questions first, right? So that's the agenda of the session. So let's do this first. We'll we'll come back to the general discussion, the tips and tricks and everything. Don't worry about that. Right, uh, Siddhant, Vikas. Fine. So just have a quick look. We'll discuss that then. Priyanka ST is the short form for uh, speed test, I think. Uh, they call it ST, all these mock tests and everything, they, they call it ST generally. Right. Can we can we uh, start with this? You know, it's generic data. Let, let's just try and do it together. Those of you who have not done it, now this is um, um, not the time to attempt it yourself. Just just be with me here. Uh, what is the data about? It's about seven students, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know that uh, they scored marks in seven subjects and each one of them got a highest in a particular subject. So the data is like that, that they have got a different score, distinct scores, uh, all four, all seven of them. And then in these scores, each one of them 
had uh, highest marks in other subjects. What it means is that in mathematics, one of these seven would have the highest. And this highest scorer in a particular subject is different. Fine. So all seven of them have scored highest in one of these seven subjects. So it's it's fairly straightforward here. What we'll do is just start with the questions uh, with the statement straight away. Um, incidentally, this is the if you uh, ask me to compare, this is the toughest of the four puzzles that are there in the paper. Anyway, let's start with this. What do you do? Uh, so this time, what I'll do is I'll not start randomly because you ask me when we do from screen, how do we handle you use make use of this that no so i'll do it the way a student does it right so let's start with statement number 1 the one who scored the highest in geography had a total score less than b i'll i'll uh, uh, you know i'll follow a fundamental uh, thing here that you should remember if i'm writing it like that let's say a b c what it means is that the marks are increasing here fine so these are things for you you don't need to explain that to anybody so this is our fundamental premise when you're doing this abc means that it's working like that so if i'm writing in this order it implies that a is less than b is less than c so i'm going to follow this rule here over here fine so you can do whatever but i just uh, generally do it like that the reason is simple that i tend to remember it we'd like it like that now 1 2 3 4 so 4 is increasing so that's why i generally write it like that fine so the one who scored the highest in geography had a total score less than b how do i write something like that i will just do this geo would be sufficient to indicate geography i'll just put this line over here and put this b what does it mean for me? Uh, Dikho, uh, I'll not take that much time solving. I'm explaining, so just be a little patient and listen to every word here. This to me just means one thing: that B, uh, the the uh, you know the person uh, B uh, has got more marks than the person who got the highest in geography. Uh, I'll just explain the format. Let's say I'm doing this maths, fine, and I'm writing here C. Uh, let's say history. So what it means is that A is the person who scored the highest in maths, C is the person who scored the highest in history and the total score of C is greater than A. So this is the format that I am following here. So geography in bracket uh, and then B, it means that B got more marks than the person who got the highest in geography. So that's the way we will denote this. I am just now removing all this from here and let's try and write this for all the statements quickly. Please don't type anything, just be with me here. Only two person had a total score less than E, but more than uh, the one who scored maximum in English. How do you write this one? I'll write it like this. Uh, okay, uh, little space, but we'll manage. This is English. This is E. What does that mean? Uh, e got, uh, uh, E was two ranks or three ranks above because there were two people in between over the person who got the highest in English. So this is how we denote it. Let's move forward. D scored the maximum in physics and a total score more than F. How do we write this? F and this is just like that, D physics. What does it tell me? That D is the person who scored the highest in physics and D got more marks than F, just that. So with these three short codes that I've written, I would not need to go back to these statements. Look at the next one. Number of persons who had a total less than B was thrice as the number of persons who had a total score more than C. C did not score the highest total. Now, this is the statement ideally with which you should start doing a question like that. What is happening here? Number of persons who had total less than B was thrice the number of persons. Now, total less than B, uh, uh, okay, and, and uh, who had a total score more than C. In how many ways is it possible? So, you are saying thrice. Thrice means what? Either this number can be 6 or 3. I mean, you're saying that the number of uh, people, jinka uh, total uh, 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 all those people whose total was less than B can be either 6 or 3 because it's talking about thrice. Likewise, uh, who had a total score more than C, what can this number be? This can be either 2 or 1. Are you getting me? So, number of people who had a total score more than C, if they are 1, then number of people whose score is less than B would be 3. And if it's two, then it will be six. So what are the two ways in which this can be drawn? We can just uh, uh, show it in the form of uh, uh, a diagram as well. So I'm just now drawing it for you, a bigger one. Fine, if I do it like that, it says that C did not get the highest total. Let's say C did not get the highest total, but the second highest. So how many people uh, more than C? It's one. So how many people less than B will be? 3. So, where does B come? B comes here. I hope this is understood. It's a simple step. What's the second one? Now, number of people, if I take that as 2, 
so c would come here what does it mean that there are two people above c in terms of total score so how many people would be uh, uh, below b uh, in in this case uh, this is uh, so b would be where b in that case would be uh, all six people would be below b so that would be b here in this case so you can basically categorize this into just two uh, two configurations the the two that I have drawn here uh, these are the positions and you already know that this side on which b is shown here in the second one is the uh, person who's got the highest score so b is at either at the highest c at 3 or c at 2 and b at 4 this is the only two possibilities here nothing else let's move forward the one who scored the maximum in english had a total score more than the one who scored the maximum in history it's a simple one to denote here but what i'll do is i remember that i have put english uh, uh, i've put something about the one who scored in english here in this statement fine so what i'll do is i'll draw it like that fine even when we are doing such things you need to be on the lookout uh, to you know kind of uh, just merge them so what it tells me is that the one who got the highest in english got marks uh, got total score more than the one who got in history how many people are there in between them we still do not know let's move forward the one who scored the maximum in hindi had a total score less than only one person so it clearly shows that the one who got the maximum in hindi is ranked two so two possibilities either it can be this guy c only so which is a simple one or this guy that is still blank we do not know who this is Oh, this can be the one let's call it case one and let's call this case two they're just two that we are working with here let's move forward only two persons scored a total less than a but more than f only two persons scored a total less than a but more than f means what how will it look it will look like that f dash dash a means there are two people between uh, f and a i do not know who these people are but it will be denoted like this only move forward a did not score the maximum in geography it's a simple one to denote a is not geography b is not math and the last statement g was not the one who had the least total so let's call it like that to differentiate it from the subject now what has happened in this process is that uh, we have already used all this so apart from what we have drawn it's just just five things that are there in this it looks like a longish puzzle but if you realize there are just five things geography b history english e f d physics f a and this there is no no other uh, data here in this and if you have to work after this we'll need to work from this only now how do you generally proceed in this just just start thinking a little logically we cannot put randomly here if you put randomly it's going to result in a chaos so look for some such thing that's going to minimize the cases for you i'll not show you all the cases i'll show you the cases that look the most probable for example look at this statement here and this block uh, can i say that english and e there there is a gap of 2 and then after that there is history as well so there are at least at least four people that are below e in total score the english guy the history guy and two more the blanks that you can see so at least at least four people that are below e now uh, if you look at this so it means if you have to put e that has to come here in this segment only the first three positions now if i have to put it here in this uh, i've got two options either i can put that in case 1 or case 2 uh, which is the case in which i should generally put it and check i mean uh, the, generally the rule would be because you will ask me kaise aapne decide kiya the generally the rule would be that you start with the one which has got just one case so you can see here clearly that if i have to start with case one i can put e here or i can put e here it'll get eliminated later it's a different matter but i can do that but in the second case there is just one place so if you have to start with one you should you have to start with case 2 here so i'll start with case 2 that's the common sensical thing to do here so i put e here if i put e here where would english go two blanks and english would be this place if english is this place we just leave it like that history is still to be left i hope this is okay with everybody till this stage now what do we fill i mean just just try filling things like this look at this block f dash dash a where can this go there is no other possibility in this if you look at this this is a and that's f there is no other place to put uh, this block over here what else can be uh, put here if you look at this uh, english and this is done uh, b and geography i mean uh, i i think this uh, this looks okay i hope i have not made a mistake while putting in the data here this looks f uh, english this is fine this is okay and uh, right and this is fine geography this this looks good right this looks good here now let's proceed you have to put d physics somewhere no d physics is like a block now 
it has to be above f you can see that there is no column left here no cell left here in which both the name and the uh, subject is empty so where do you put d physics there is no possibility no other possibility here so d physics gets adjusted here now if d physics gets adjusted here use this block once more history english history english means english is at third place from the bottom so what is the place for history there is just one place again it's absolutely concrete there is absolutely no problem in this uh, what else do you do now uh, okay look at this one geography is less than b so where can geography come geography come can come either at a or c but you know already that a cannot be geography so where is geography geography has to be at c so this becomes geography here this is again concrete nothing much to be done here then uh, who is the person left in this uh, the person missing the name uh, or the subject what is missing here uh, the name is also missing for english what is the last name left g so this becomes g all right and uh, let's just fill the last two subjects what are they it looks like satisfying here so b cannot be math what else is left so this is b cannot be math so the last subject is biology so we'll do write bio here and a becomes math so this is your configuration this gives you the answer over here uh, case 7 chandni there is no case 7 here uh, okay uh, now so this is the complete solution this is going to give you the answer here please do not get into things like why did you not take case 1 i told you the reason in general when i solve puzzles i show you all the cases but you should always start with the most likely one had it given me a contradiction i would have gone to case 1 again which would also you know uh, would not take have taken much time but the crux would be that you realize that all my data could be summarized in this 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 and these three just that and it looks like a lengthy puzzle i'm just reading your comments before moving on to the next one then should it be skipped at first sight dekho so chhod sakte ho i'm i'm doing the questions in order uh, but uh, this is a this is a valid question had I been taking this test, I'll tell you why I would have left it. It does not look very small, very short. This is the first uh, question. Some data, something to read. So I would not have touched it till the time I have had a cursory glance at at least all the questions. So I would have realized there are easier puzzles. There are some questions that can be done quickly. Uh, inequality and all are there. Syllogisms are there. So I would probably have not done it in the beginning. I'm doing it like that because I'm going to solve everything for you. Fine. But yes, if this comes first up, uh, you might not uh, you know feel like doing it and in this paper in 20 minutes you cannot do all 35 questions so this is the one that probably could have been left but i wanted to tell you that even this was doable we just uh, proceeded systematically here and it looked all very doable i'm showing you the second one now and please please um, save your generic questions uh, for the for the next one hour i'll, I'll do that after the session i'll talk about that Topper does that in 80 seconds. That's Bakwas Rahul. Uh, it's not Topper. He probably, <laughs> you know, you, you know what he did. Uh, so uh, don't don't worry about what Topper did here. That's that's not really the Topper. Just just have a look at this puzzle quickly. I'll discuss that then. Yes, Sushant, you should always try and look out for easier questions. Absolutely, yeah. Dinkar, then look for these things. I kuch special nahi kiya na. I just made everything in front of you just wrote data like that just try doing that uh, sushmita yes ob is good if you feel like doing that you can go for it anyway just look at this now guys please please no generic questions right now i'll interrupt the session we'll finish this up in one hour and after that i'll give you time to discuss all this kushal singh says this was the easiest puzzle very good kushal what do you say about this one okay this this current one absolutely yeah this was a sitter uh, I, I hope you have gone through it already. I'll, I'll explain it then shortly. Yes, this is a very easy one. Let me just do that very quickly for you. All right, can we discuss this? It's about six people, A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, now, it's a five marker. The last one was also five marker. This is also a five marker. They purchase cars of different colors, red, green, arrow. So these are the six colors and it's about six dates. What should we do? So. Jan 21, Jan 22, March 21. You would probably have realized how easy this one is. Now, uh, red, purple and black were purchased on 21st. So what I'll do is, I'll just write it separately. Red, purple and black. Fine. So the rest three would be... Uh, 
um, on 22nd so uh, uh, this is red purple black so there will be uh, green uh, orange and yellow fine so i write it separately so that i do not have to uh, i'm not required to go back to this data again let's start doing it let's make a small table kind of a structure right a purchase is car in march at a gap of 2 from the purchase of the red car so how can it happen uh, at a gap of 2 there are two cars in between or two people in between whatever way you do this there is just just one way in which this can be done you put a here and red here there is no other way if you uh, try and put a at 21 march 21 then red would not happen at 21 march 21 it will be april 22 but you can see here the red is at 21 so this is the only possibility so just given an order this is the first statement which you should start and it's given at the very beginning go to the second one black car was not purchased in april red is already gone so just purple and black these are the two left if black is not uh, purchased in april then purple must have been purchased in april it's fine so purple uh, becomes april 21 then and when would uh, black be bought then march it looks like jaldi se. F purchased the car just before the purchase of the black car. So F, where is F? This is F. D purchases car just after E purchases car. So there is no other place to put this block. That's the only place. Yellow car was not purchased in January. Yellow was not purchased in January. So uh, let me just write it like that. Y and cancel. Just I'll remember that. B was not the first to purchase the car and green. B was not the first to purchase the car, then B should come here. And what is the last guy left? It's C. This goes here. And green car was not purchased the last. So this is not green then. Uh, okay. And it says D did not purchase the yellow car. So D did not purchase the yellow car. Uh, it will be uh, uh, this yellow is also cancelled here. So what is it then? Uh, the last color left here on 22nd, that's orange. And this is not yellow, uh, Jan 22 then what color would it be? It will be green. And what is it left now? Yellow goes here. And what, what was there in it? Soch ke batao. Whoever missed out on this, uh, missed out on what? Probably uh, uh, coding decoding questions uh, would have taken more time. This, this is the final solution of it. I mean, it's a one, one and a half minute thing. Just that. It was absolutely... Uh, took 2.5 minutes, it's okay. This was a sitter, 2.5 minutes is still fine in it because at times it happens, it's exam and all, you have to do it carefully. But yes, not more than one or two minutes. The good thing here was, good thing, bad thing, whatever you say, even the statements were given in order like this. I just used them in order. So there was absolutely no challenge here. Let's move to the next one. Let's see what's there in store for us. So had you left the first set, you would have done this in two, three minutes flat. Just imagine the kind of confidence that you get after this. This is the next one. Just read it quickly. I'll explain that then. Yes, Ritesh, you can do that. Ritesh is saying, should we skip all the puzzles and solve miscellaneous first? Yes, inequality on uh, and all those things, they can be done quickly. So I would say these 20 uh, questions of puzzles should be done at the end. Rest 15 are generally very easy. It can be done in 10 minutes. 10 minutes of puzzles, just crack two puzzles. It should be it for you. I mean, if you're good, you can crack all for wonderful. Akarshan, I'll address all your queries later. Let's just focus on the, uh, you know, on, on this thing first. I'll, I'll address everything. Believe me, no, not going to leave anything uh, unanswered or unaddressed. Just be with me for this then. It's a simple, very simple family tree. Seven people. The names are given here. Fine. Just, just a quick look and you, you know what's happening here. Uh, the data starts from here and it ends here. Arsha and Chand are a married couple. Thik hai. Daksha is the sister of Abhya. Um, uh, Jackie is the father of Daksha. So it looks like it's connected. Let's just draw it. So how do we draw this? This means a female, a circle. It looks like more like an oval, but yes. Fine. Jackie is the father of Daksha. It means uh, he is the father of uh, both of them. And is also a paternal grandfather. Paternal grandfather means Dada Evo. If he is a paternal grandfather, it means that these girls definitely do have a brother as well. Then only it can uh, be a paternal grandfather. And there has to be a kid here. It has to be like that. And this is also a male. So that's what you know. Immediately, uh, Karni is the niece of Abhaya. It looks like this has to be Gurney. 
गलत होगा तो विल चेंज इट चांद इज द ओनली ब्रदर ऑफ द अक्षा सो इट्स वेरी क्लियर नाउ दिस इज चांद एंड वी हैड रेड अर्शा एंड चांद आर अ मैरिड कपल मैरिड कपल आई डो नॉट लाइक दिस आई डो नॉट नो हाउ यू डो नॉट इट टू पीपल पॉइंटिंग एरोज एट ईच अदर सो दैट्स अ मैरिड कपल एंड दिस इज अर्शा लुक्स गुड और इज द लास्ट वन देन जेरी इज द स्पाउस ऑफ जैकी सो अगेन This is Jerry. That's the tree. I mean, how much time? A couple of minutes at the max. It it cannot be. It cannot be more than that. It was an absolute sitter in the name of blood relations. Three marks there for the taking. I mean, in the first five minutes, you could have been at you know eight out of uh, whatever it was. It was it was so simple. I I I I think all of you would agree with me here. Yeah, Sushant. Two minutes is fine. Two minutes is fine because you need to answer the three questions as well. I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you the questions because the questions were very simple. One one and a half minute for drawing this, and then uh, you know another thirty forty seconds to mark the answers. But it was absolutely um, a, a sitter. Okay. Look at the next one then. You know these questions very very well. No. all these questions very well these are the kind of questions that you generally do in uh, reasoning quickly or you know uh, you do all these questions in reasoning fast uh, it it all it does not always mean that these will be quick, quickest i mean uh, if you ask me there are people who would do puzzles fast but yes these are questions that are doable and generally people do that uh, let's just discuss it straight away it's a set of three questions so that needs to be done you just do it by comparison how do you do that kavita is a writer fine novel writer makes money just compare just compare there is nothing to be discussed here so what is the common one here writer if writer is the common one you look at the common code what is the common code between this and this and that's how you keep proceeding in this i'm just writing them so for writer it becomes ey fine let's move forward okay let's uh, read the next one uh, reading is a, a good hobby fine reading is a good hobby so you can see the common part here is a is a this is a is a is there in both what are the common letters here uh, this would be uh, j p f o fine uh, that's there j p f o so the only thing that you can mess up here is you know just make a careless mistake somewhere okay you can find the code for kavita kavita is a writer uh, kavita likes reading novel what is the common one Uh, there is nothing else apart from kavita common here what's common ax so kavita becomes ax all right uh, okay check reading reading is a good hobby uh, reading kavita likes reading novel what is common here just one again it has to be dm yeah that's dm uh, okay you know about uh, is a you know about reading so what is good hobby good hobby so that's uh, ksgr right looks good what else what else uh, okay okay novel we can compare novel look at this so what is novel then uh, bn this no the I think that's common here. What else? Now we know likes as well. I mean, they are so simple that I, I, you know, generally do not bother reading all the questions first. Had it been tougher, I would have said that read questions. And what else is left? Novel writer makes money from here. So this is makes money. Uh, and what is the code? Uh, looks good. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. So somebody is asking, should we decode it first? Yes, Kushal. I generally do that. I mean, the people can have different ways because if I read the questions and all, this will probably take just one minute. So if I read the questions and all, that's going to waste time. Which of the following is the code for money? Money you cannot say with surety. It's, it can be I Z C Q anything. So it has to be option D, either one or three. So it can be either I Z or C Q. It's a simple one. Let's look the next. Look at the next question. B N is the code for which of the following words? We had done this already. Uh, you know this where was bn 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 this is bn so it's uh, novel uh, where is it let's see novel here and uh, what else was there let me just look at the last one as well okay which of the following would be needed to know the code of is uh, you would remember that is was struck with a this is what we had got so even when you look at this you will realize that 
just just i mean without even looking at the table this was stuck with us this was stuck with us so this is not going to help us this is not going to help us what is the reason that we were still confused between is an a so here also is an a exist is an a exist so ye to pakka hi galat hai so look at the options now 2 uh, 4 uh, 2 4 involving all these options are incorrect so it has to be 1 3 or between some of them uh, or none of these or something like that so we'll just check with this reading novel is money so you just go back reading novel you have got the exact thing for that novel is there reading is there money if one of these two exists there you would recognize that because you know iz cq so whatever is left then here in this would give you the answer so it means that this can do the job look at this one a good hobby makes money uh, good hobby you know the code makes money you know the code uh, just there good hobby you know this combination makes money you know the combination so ksdr would exist iz cq would exist the fifth one that would be left there is going to give you the answer for a this a so you know the code for a is a you know this combination so you know the code for is so it means that this would also suffice so one and three would do the job for you the answer would be what a option a either one or three so again very doable should have been done should have been done do not worry mohit start now uh, okay so this was the next question it was about uh, directions just give it a quick half a minute read i'll explain it then i i discussed in my sessions one way of uh, handling direction puzzles if you remember in which we do not have to track everything you remember that i just uh, uh, told you to you know track the directions and do it in a um, 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 on a piece of paper uh, without doing anything much just writing the directions it's doable by that right i'll i'll do it for you quickly then uh, these are two points a and b located 150 meter apart uh, if it's like that so just to remember that a is to the west of b i'll write a here these are simple things that that you know kind of make a difference so if i have to write it like that i know that the distance is 150 but i write it like that it kind of reminds me that a is to the west of b if you reverse it it might confuse you later fine let's track the movement uh, what is it like uh, towards south first so what would i do i'll just do this then what does he do this is the next movement okay what is it then then this and then this these are the four movements right what is the net effect if you look at this the net effect what this what is this all equal to if you look at the down direction 50 plus 30 so we'll say this is 80 and if you look at this this 40 is towards west and 115 is towards east what does that mean the net would be towards east and how much would that be 75 you don't do anything you know that a uh, the person who starts from a would be 80 meters south or whatever the unit is and 75 meters east just that it's just this simple uh, go to the next one uh, what is he doing first he starts with uh, north okay this is 50 what then okay this is 40 then what 100 down then 40 again this time towards east then 30 down and then finally 75 just the directions are important nothing else uh, 75 i hope i have written it right right equate it so up down so 130 down 50 up so what is it it's a net of 80 down left right so uh, towards east 40 okay this this cancels this and this will cancel so it's a net of the 75 the job done for you you know where there are i mean both of them have moved south by an equal distance 80 80 this one has moved towards b by 75 and this one has moved towards a by 75 we don't do anything you know that they are going to meet at a single place look at the questions uh, which what is the final position of both the persons exactly at the same point the final position is all of them are fine so they meet at the same point this is fine this is fine so when the answer would be this all of the above it's a simple one then you would not do anything here look at the next question i think it means that was simple if the person who started from point a uh walks 80 meters north from this final point what would be his position now it's very simple you are saying that this is neutralized this movement 
so if from this position he moves north 80 what would happen this would cancel if this would cancel he would just be at a point that is 75 meters east from his initial position so what is given in the question what would be his position now position would be what uh, okay the first option 75 meters east from his starting point so here there's a learning for you whenever it's a directions question it's not a complicated one and all don't make this diagram and all at times it kind of confuses you wherever you can just make do with this just stick to this and nothing else it's simple it's much much simple uh, believe me you have to get two out of two of um, in this and if it's more then more just check my session out there in that now this is a question type which many people at times struggle with this this creates a problem you have to you you might experience some difficulty uh, following the trail here but generally these questions are uh, doable generally these questions are very very doable and should not trouble you much uh, uh, I'll, I'll just explain to you how to use uh, options effectively here samir has discussed this in so much detail that i do not think anybody would have a problem here but still let's just do it um, a little quickly what do you generally do here uh, when you start with this you know that these are in you know if you look at the segments this segment then this segment then this segment then this segment and this these are five segments and this is what creates a problem for you so i'll not work on this directly no i'll not do that i'll go with the options it has to be through the options always how to use the options smartly now listen very carefully i look at these options i look at these options i look at these combinations nothing seems to be making much sense for example had there been an option which you'll say is uh, you know um, uh, is occurring or is um, appearing in all of them three or four of them i would have said go with that but here it's all uniform so doesn't uh, nothing seems to be making much sense here so what catches my eye is this l less than o l equal to o what does that mean i'll first try to establish a relationship between l and o it makes sense why because i'll be taking care of this option and this option simultaneously so just have a quick look at this before jumping on to the question just have a very very quick look what do we do then we talk about l o then let's go here uh, where is l where is l you look at this this is l this um, l uh, you get here now since you are talking about l less look at this and l equal to i'll go to that side only l less and l equal to uh, kind of side only so if you look at this uh, uh, both of them are giving you this thing in fact l less than equal to do uh, d this is this chalo d se start kar lete d appears first so let's start with d you go to d so l less than equal to d fine uh, d less than equal to j it's given over here just a quick one then uh, uh, j j j where do you go uh, you have to arrive to o uh, look in the backward direction this is b o fine so uh, j b o so this is j b equal to o what is it then it tells you this whole thing tells you that uh, l would be less than o if l is less than o then this is definitely true and this is false here fine if this is true this is false three now you look at options when you look at options you'll realize uh, either three or four follows this is incorrect it cannot be the option this is incorrect so either three or four this is incorrect okay the only thing that i need to check is whether one follows or not so i'll straight away go to one so i can skip two in that case that's how i saying you know you just need to check the options over there uh, just go to bj now uh, b and j uh, look for it let me just clean it for you where is b b b uh, okay b greater than j where is it uh, okay you cannot uh, you cannot yeah you can start from here b greater than j and uh, then uh, j would be uh, equal to p fine from here and it goes on like that this is greater than k greater than q is it yeah yeah this seems to be good yeah so you, you follow it from here it becomes like this it was a slightly tougher one some of them would be simpler so it means it follows the answer would be what uh, option uh, a only one and three follow but there is nothing much in it uh, the more you practice the quicker you become in all these questions how c will be wrong only one and two follows na dekho oh you are stuck here when i when i established that three is definitely true so 
इट मीन्स ओनली वन एंड टू फॉलोज के नॉट बी द आंसर ना वी यूज ऑप्शन स्मार्टली ऑप्शन द आंसर ऑप्शन वुड डेफिनेटली हैव थ्री इन इट ना सो आई लुक डेट ऑल द आंसर ऑप्शन विद डेफिनेटली हैव अ थ्री सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट आइदर थ्री नो थ्री इज डेफिनेट आइदर थ्री डेफिनेट सो ऑल थ्री आर फॉल्स सो आइदर ऑप्शन ए और नन फॉलो सो वट डू आई नीड टू चेक ओनली ऑप्शन ए देन सो आई नीड टू चेक ओनली फॉर वन लुक एट द नेक्स्ट वन सी इज नॉट रॉन्ग ऑप्शन में नहीं है हाँ तो गलत ही हो गया ना विनीता लुक एट दिस नेक्स्ट वन ओके वॉट वुड यू फॉलो इन दिस देन ओके नथिंग लुक्स लाइक दैट सो जस्ट फॉलो फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वन ओके वॉट इज इट अबाउट जे ग्रेटर देन एस सो आई हैव टू लुक एट जे ग्रेटर सो दिस इज जे ग्रेटर सो जे ग्रेटर देन आर आफ्टर दैट वेर इज आर हियर देर इज नो आर आई मीन इफ यू लुक एट दिस कंप्लीट थिंग आर सीम्स टू मी मिसिंग इट मीन्स दैट दिस ट्रेल वुड बी लॉस्ट हियर आई हैव टू जस्ट गो लाइक दैट ना J greater than R, greater than something. But this all thing is missing. It means what? That this can definitely not follow. If this cannot follow, this is gone. This is gone. So answer has to be two, three, two, or none follows. So what we can do here is that you can two. चल ठीक है. Let's check two then. R C. Uh, how do you check R C? Okay. Mm, let me just erase this line for you. Okay, start with this C D and uh, C greater than D. Where do we go from here? M. Uh, this is M M M M. All right, we got this. Uh, this is R. Yeah. So this does the job for you, I think. So. Uh, uh, R would be less than C, so this is fine. If this is fine, so the challenge would be between this and uh, either this one or this one. None follows is incorrect, so we'll have to check three as well. So again, they are wasting our time here. You know, cannot do anything here. Q is greater than equal to S. Mm. Okay. Look at this. Look at S. i think it can be eliminated quickly s is uh, uh, we have to go with s less than something so s less than equal to o just look at this part so s less than equal to o is equal to o u you will not find anything in uh, you no there is nothing in o fine so this is lost here and in u you just find this one but the sign is reversed you would really need something like that na but look at this this is the reverse sign it means it again would reach nowhere so it means even this is incorrect so what's there then it'll be option d uh yeah so this would be option d only two follows and look at the next one these are simple ones what here okay which one would you start with dp dp uh, dp pd both are there so let's just start with uh, dp only mm. uh, where do you start from p p p where is p i just get lost in these questions this is p uh, less than so i'll write it like that p less than e to z where is it then this is r this is uh, b and this is less than equal to d so you get this what it tells you is uh, that p is less than d p is less than d means this is true and this is incorrect look at the options now Uh, only four follows two and four follows so it means uh, uh, this is gone this is gone none follows gone so uh, the only option that i need to check now would be option 2 what is option 2 it's about kq uh, which one do i start with okay start with q this is uh, q is then equal to h okay doesn't seem to be reaching anywhere can you find a trail here no no it's not reaching anywhere it's just lost because you would need something less than l does does that exist no you have to establish something less than q so you need something less than l here it's moving like that so something less than l no l is there but it's 
uh, something greater than L means it's lost here done you can see that it's not going to happen so even this is not true so the answer would be option a only four follows yeah this is the one only four follows yeah and this is just observation and uh, these are the kind of questions in which uh, i'll say that even if you uh, do some mindless practice because it's just observation look at these things it's going to build speed for you for people who are not very good at them probably three questions three minutes who are good probably one and a half minute all three questions Look at the next one. Now, this is a this is a question that I actually wanted to discuss. How much time would you take in this one? Just read it quickly. Uh, there are students in a class uh, sitting in a row like that from left to right. So this is left and this is right. Uh, Sneha is sitting at 18th position from the left. Vimal is sitting as 29th from the right. 21 students sitting in between Sneha and Vimal. Then find the position of Sheetal. Uh, fine. I, I just thought like this. I'm I'm you know just sharing my exact thought with you the moment I looked at this question. For me, it's like that. Sneha is sitting at 18th position from the left. 18 students here. Vimal sitting 29 from the right. 29 students here. So Sneha is at this edge here. Vimal as it is is at this edge here. 21 in between. So it's like that. Now they are asking about the position from the right of somebody who is sitting third to the right of Sneha. This is Sneha. Let me just write the complete name. So can I find the position from the right of this girl Sneha? It's very simple. 29 plus 21. So 50 students to the right of Sneha. So what is the number of Sneha? I mean, if you have to calculate from right the position of Sneha, that would be 50 first. So I'll first calculate it for Sneha. What would be the position of uh, Sheetal then? Sheetal is third to the right of Sneha. So 51 minus 3. The answer becomes 48. So there there is no standard rule for these things. Whatever clicks to you at that moment. What did I do here? Just divided into three parts. So I just assumed that the class is divided into three parts. 18 students here. The, on the edge of this, the last student is Sneha. 21 in between, and then uh, Vimal. So Vimal is here. It's not even required. So after Sneha, on this side, how many would be there in all? 50. So if I count from right, Sneha's number would be 50. Would be there. Would be 51. So that's 51 for Sneha. Sheetal is where? Sheetal is third to the right of Sneha. So it means 51 minus 3. It becomes 48. So uh, Sheetal would be somewhere here. But you do not need to do that. You just know three positions from here. So 51. was the position of sneha from right so 51 minus 3 the answer becomes 48 here in this yeah it should be should be should have been very very quick very quick here syllogisms finally and uh, good ones i mean i'll i'll not give them much time here uh, syllogisms here should be simple let's just draw them very very quickly uh, uh, what is it some vadas are dons okay Okay. Mm. All right. Yans and so this is your Venn diagram. Simple. Some yans are vadas. No. And all the statements are also positive. If you look at this, it's like so simple. Uh, I would not even uh, generally in in good syllogism questions I'll check the options. It is not required because you can just simply see it from the Venn diagram. This is minimum overlap diagram. Just check it simply. Some yans and vadas. No, you can see they are not overlapping. So second one, some stones are uh, octals. Yes, they are overlapping. This is the region here. So that's true. Some octals are vadas. No. Yeah. Some stones are uh, dons. Stones, dons. No, they are not. Fine. So only two. Where is only two? This is a quick syllogism question. All of you should have got this right. The only challenge was drawing this because I would recommend drawing this. Otherwise, uh, there's a chance of getting them wrong. But yes, this was it. Uh, they always give typical names, but this was an easy one. No, you must have got happy looking at this. Look at the second one. Let's just draw it quickly again. All blues are C's. Uh, okay, one one small thing that I wanted to tell you in syllogism. Just bear with me. Uh, I have this tendency of using those initials or what do the what do you call them? Uh, the first letters. But I have at times messed it up using that. So whenever you are starting with the syllogism questions, just check very quickly if there is a letter which results in two words, two different words. If there is one such letter or if there is there are two such letters, either use the full names or the full names for at least for that. Fine. So I, I'll just show that to you here. Just a quick look, you'll realize blues and backs. They are both Bs. So at times you would not realize when you're doing it in a hurry, it'll mess up the thing for you. any other repetition had they been repetition that would have been very obvious for you so when you are doing this you will do like that uh, all blues are c's so if i am saying this is blues this is 
C's. I'll, I'll draw it like that. S is fine with me, but I'll write complete blue here. Some C's are triangles. That's triangles here. Okay, and some triangles are backs. This is backs. It's just right back, and all backs are pawns. This is P. Just do it now. Some triangles are pawns. Yes, it's definitely true. Okay, second one, some backs are C's. No. You can clearly see no intersection. Third one, mm, some triangles are backs, yes. And the fourth one, uh, all backs are pawns, no. All backs are pawns, uh, no, right, that's, uh, uh, where is it? Okay, what am I reading? Some C's are blues, uh, some C's are blues is fine. Uh, yeah, that's there, you can see that. And no blue is a pawn, no blue is a pawn. You cannot say that, no condition in here. So that's incorrect. So this is it, one and three, which option would it be? option b again a simple one i'll say very simple okay the next one let's draw it for this one then uh, okay again uh, i think hooks and hugs yeah so let's draw it accordingly then uh, knots let's call them k mm. this is hooks for you and this is wires okay let me write this complete hooks wires and then and this is hugs and some hugs are guts so this is a diagram for you uh, just check it quickly some knots are guts no knots guts uh, some hooks are guts no not necessarily all they are possibilities all hooks are hugs absolutely some knots are wires some knots are wires, where is it? Yeah, that's true. So, 3 and 4, where is it? Where is it? It's option C. So, I'll say all three of them were very, very simple. They were very simple, very doable. All of you uh, must have, must have, should have done that. I mean, karna chiyata. These were all doable questions for you. So, they were, they were simple. So, you, you realized here, this inequality probably took us some time. Otherwise, other than that, in, in this uh, paper, puzzles and all, we'll, we'll do the rest too as well. But uh, it, it's all doable then. Syllogisms, this simple, I generally would not expect. It was very, very doable. Fine. Sitters and saviors, yes. But even the puzzles were not tough, no? Uh, Ashish, you, you check them out. Anyway, let's look at this one then. Just read it quickly. We'll do this one. People found this also a little on the tougher side. But I found it very good. In fact, if I um, to be to be very fair to uh, to them, this is a very good balance paper in the sense that not too difficult, not too uh, easy, uh, uh, an okay kind of a paper with some use of numbers, neat and clean. I mean, I, I did not find a problem with the paper. It was it was good, quite good. Fine. So it it must have given you a, a very good idea about where you stand right now if you took it seriously. Just read it quickly. I'll do that for you then. Yes, Brajesh, even I love this numbers thing. Uh, Mohit, Akarshan, I'll, I'll address the generic doubts. Guys, just give me 10-15 minutes more. I'll, I'll discuss that. I told you, na, uh, the idea was to discuss the paper quickly so that those people who are here just for the paper uh, get to know that. Uh, um, otherwise, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to address your queries here. And, and guys, there is a request. This is, this is a paper in which I expect you to, you know, first have gone through it, one, and two, I'm not teaching you the basics here. So somebody who's struggling with syllogism basics, that the session is not for you, fine. So and, uh, do not uh, curse me, abuse me for doing this. The, the design of the session is like that. That's for people who are initiated, uh, just to understand how to do it quickly. Just read it very quickly once, then I'll do that for you. Ankita, I'll just explain this. Just read it quickly once. Uh, Sachi, it was not tough. Seriously, believe me, it was not tough. Shayad na hai. I do not know. Uh, but I always keep uh, telling you uh, guys that it's always a mix. So it's never uh, the tough ones, the easy ones. Just find the right ones. So I'll say that this is also an okay kind of puzzle. Not very easy, not very tough. Of the four, that one was a sitter. That was a, just a one minute puzzle. But even this one you will realize can be done quickly. Have you read it? Already explained this to you. Eight people, A, B, D, G. LPS uh, sitting around a square table. So the table is like that here. Different marks in an examination. 
between 25 and 85 good there were seated such as the person having scores which are multiples of 10 were seated at the four corners so the seating is like that so these are the seats for people whose scores are in multiples of 10 now how many possibilities are there the moment i look at a question like this what i generally do is i'll write it down between 25 and 85 so these are not 100 numbers these are not 15 20 numbers they are very simple so i'll just write it down here so what i'll do is i'll write it like this 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 these are the possibilities so of these four numbers would come here on corners i do not know what which numbers but this is a good practice what it tells you is that at times you know something but it you know uh, it, it does not uh, uh, appear to be very apparent when you have written numbers like this it you know kind of starts shouting at you uh, move forward uh, and the persons having scores which are multiples of 9 were seated along the four sides so these are the rest four positions so the data is simple like that so these your these are your positions here now let's write those numbers as well what is the smallest one the multiple of 9 above 25 will be 27 so the numbers would be like this uh, 27 36 45 54 63 72 and the last one would be 81 so these are the numbers here uh, just I and mean, just like that we we'll, you know just keep crossing them Uh, whatever appears or uh, do something of that sort so we have done the data till here we do not need to go back to it again uh, start now the person seated second to the left of l scored 72 whereas uh, if you look at this seated second to the left of l scored 72 so it means that uh, this 72 is a person from this segment here this is this person that we are talking about now this person and uh, the person that is at a gap of one position would both be multiples of nine kind of people so you cannot put l on a corner are you getting me Let, let's say i put l here if i put l here then this guy 72 goes to this place fine had i put l at a corner then 70 would have 72 would also have gone at a corner so that would have been uh, a contradiction here so that's the reason why you can put it like that so it's the first position you can just put it anywhere Read the second one. L and P were seated at a gap of two. So, what are the two possible positions for P? Uh, you know uh, this. Either this one, so that's a possible position, or this one. This is just to explain. I'll I would not have written that there. Move to the next one. P's neighbors together scored a total of ninety. Now, this again is a good statement for us. Why is it good? P's neighbors means if nothing is written, you are talking about immediate neighbors. So, you're talking about this cell and this cell. One of them is seventy-two. You already know. So, it means that this would be eighteen then. 18 का तो ऑप्शन ही नहीं है नंबर स्टार्ट बियॉन्ड 25 इट मींस व्हाट दैट दिस इज नॉट द पोजीशन ऑफ पी एंड दिस इज द पोजीशन ऑफ पी डिड यू गेट द लॉजिक इट्स कंक्रीट आई एम नॉट अज्यूमिंग एनीथिंग हियर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर पी दिस वन एंड दिस वन रीड इट क्विकली यू रियलाइज दैट द दे ऐड अप टू 90 द नेबर्स सो इफ दिस इज 72 दिस हैज टू बी 18 18 कैन नॉट कम हियर सो इट मींस दैट दिस बिकम्स पी लेट मी जस्ट क्लीन इट अप एंड पुट इट अ लिटिल नीटली दिस थिंग ओवर हियर fine so this becomes p for you so we have made good use of this data i mean if you realize that we have done that another thing that i'll do is that i'll put this x here and uh, uh, write a 90 minus x here why am i doing this because at least this portion here that i have written here is all done for me i know that the sum of the two neighbors of p is 90 so x 90 minus x would just remind me because i'm using exactly the same thing or the 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 um, you using the screen in the same way in which you will be using the scrap paper in the exam so you'll write it like that you know that this part of the puzzle is now over for you are you getting me because all what is written there is there in your uh, paper so that's the reason why we do it like that fine right? so we will not going to come back to it move forward k scored 16 more than a who was seated opposite to s so a was seated opposite to s is one thing which we cannot use at this stage it seems k scored 16 more than a now it's a good statement if your if your numbers are okay you would quickly realize that k and a one of them would be in the uh, uh, multiples of 10 and the other one would be in the multiples of 9 the reason is that two multiples of two, uh, 10 cannot differ by 16 two multiples of 9 can also not differ by 16 so one of them has to be in multiples of 10 and another one has to be in multiples of 9 just look at this that's the reason why we list them like that you would realize quickly that these numbers it would happen by a combination of this this number here should end either with a 6 or a 4 for this thing to happen now uh, if you look at the numbers ending with 6 let's say this is 36 36 how would you get a difference of 16 when the other number is 20 but 20 to option in it will not happen so what would you look at 54 54 
how can it happen when the other number is 54 plus 16 that's 80 so you immediately know that we are talking about these two numbers here 54 and 80 no hidden trial sirf common sense and a bit of use of numbers and some logic if you are saying 16 i would not go through the complete list and try to find out ab soch ke dekhna for example i am talking about uh, 60 and 81 i subtract i get 21 do i need to do this to find out that the difference is not 16 clearly i understand that all these numbers are ending with zero if they are ending with zero these numbers plus 16 would give me uh, a number like that fine so it has to end with a 6 or these numbers minus 16 so that number has to end with 4 so i look I'll just the moment i look at it i realize that it has to belong to two separate groups the number in these would be 70 and 54 so this is 54 54 plus 60 and is 70 so these are my two numbers i hope you got the logic let me just write it over here then and I'm just going in order. The reason why I thought even this was doable is that I'm just going in order. I have not changed anything here. Case code 16 more than A. So it means that you are saying that this guy is A and this guy is K. So K is 70 and 54 would be A. Let's move forward. So we are done with even this statement then. B was seated second to the left of G. Uh, don't think we can use it at this stage. though. It's just very simple data here. G and K together scored a total of 100. G and K. So we know G as well, K is 70, so this becomes G. So another job done for us. So it's also done, G is 30. One who scored 54 was seated third to the right of the one who scored 50. So leave it like that, Abhi. So we have left this one and this one. We know this, when it's, since it's not too much data, I'm not taking the short codes, you would remember this. Score of D was exactly reverse of the score of L. Uh, okay, this is an important statement then. Score of D was exactly reverse of the score of L. In, in, uh, in the multiples of 9, only this is possible. It cannot happen in the multiples of 10. Look at this. So, if you are talking about uh, the multiples of 9, uh, uh, which are the possibilities? I am just writing it separately for you. Uh, let us say somewhere here. If you are talking about D and L, fine. So, what are the possibilities? They can be 27 and 72. Numbers like this. This is what it is talking about. Na? 27, 72 or 36, uh, 63. These are the kind of numbers that they are talking about. Uh, if you talk about 45, 54, it will not happen. The reason is, you move a little forward because before making cases and all, you will read the complete thing. S scored twice that of the score of D. So, S is basically 2D. If S is 2D, D cannot be 45 and above. The reason is then S would exceed 80, 85. There is no possibility. It means that the two possibilities here that are possible for S or the two values that might give me a value for S would be either D27 or D36. The moment I look at this, S scored twice that of the score of D, it immediately uh, 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 is, is, uh, uh, should dawn upon you that uh, the value of D has to be less than uh, 40, 45. So there are just two options. D can be either 27 or 36. How do you eliminate from that? If you have to just work on this, you can eliminate quickly because this A54 is already known. If you take D as 27, then A is 54. So how would S become 54? It means that the values would be D36, L63 and S would be equal to 2D. That would be double of 36 that becomes 72. I hope you got the logic. Again, concrete, no hidden trial, just a bit of common sense and some use of numbers. 27 would have made S54. S54, not possible. So the only possible set of value is D36, L63 and S72. Just write it over there. So what is it? Uh, S72, this is S and uh, where is D? D? This is D and where is L? This is L. These are the numbers for you. So it means these are all four. So this does not exist. This does not exist. And uh, this does not exist. You, you have tracked everything here. I just hope I have written it right. 63 is L and uh, S is 72 and A is 54. Yeah, it seems right. So I have made use of this statement. I have already made use of this statement. It's all done for you. And it says P scored less than B. Uh, we'll come to it. Let's go back to the statements that we left now. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, okay, uh, 72 we already know. Let's put the name. So this is S72 and A was seated opposite to S. So this is A here and you know the number for uh, A. A is what? 54 here from this. So let me just write this as 54 here. If this is 54, what is this X? These two add up to 90. So this would be equal to 36 and what is 36 that's d it's again concrete everything here 
uh, I just hope what is left now L L L L is this 63. So, all these multiples of 9 are already done. Uh, Let us come to what is left now. Who is left now? Okay, 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 okay. B was uh, okay. And let's just last step. One who scored 54 was seated third to the right of the uh, one who scored 50. So this is 50. Fine. And this is 50. And this has to be the last person left in uh, in multiples of 10. So G K. Uh, it cannot be G, it cannot be K, it cannot be P. What is the last person left? B. So, this is B here and if this is B, uh, P scored less than B. So, look at this line. Uh, this is, uh, you said B is 50. This is B 50. P scored less than B means this has to be P. So, P becomes 40 here and uh, what is left now? Just the positions of G, K I think. Yeah. Uh, where do I get it from? Okay, B was seated second to the left of G. So, this is G. Yeah, and this is 30. And what is left then? This is K. 70. That is your answer. Let me just see if I have uh, messed up somewhere. It looks good to me. Yeah, that is your final answer. Uh, this is a good question. It might appear in CAT as well. But you must have realized. I did not use any technology here. I did not, uh, you know, out of nowhere, just told you that use this statement, that statement. I went in order the way you do in an exam, right? And we could still handle it elegantly. So some, some use of it and you will understand that. Let's just do the last puzzle as well before I take up your queries and all. This is your last question. Just read it quickly. I'll explain it then. A question, it, it happens. Just check my complete playlist of uh, all these things. You would realize that puzzles are not that tough uh, the way they are made out to be. No, they are very, very approachable. I understand that, Ashish. So, I am not asking you to do all four. No, just do a couple of them. They will be done. They will be there. Inderjeet, time for this year, Deko, it is not easy. I mean, when I do it, because I have done it before. But when I had done it before, even then it not taken much time because they are all in order. But even if you give it 7-8 minutes, if you do this one, because this was one of the tougher ones, I am okay with that. So, if you do this one that I just did and that easier one and the rest 15, you end up with a 25. I am okay with that. No, no, no. P cannot be 30, 30. No, no, Ravi. It cannot be 30. 30 was G. We did that in the very beginning itself. Just check the solution once more. You will understand. Just read it quickly. I will explain it then. Ashish, around 5 minutes I took. I could not do it in 2 minutes. Don't, don't. Uh, uh, that is like superhuman. No, I took around 5 minutes. But yeah, I could do it elegantly. Uh, like this only. Exactly the same method that I showed you. Uh, Deepak, no, I would not advise that when some sitters are there doing puzzles in the beginning. If it is the second kind of a puzzle, second puzzle kind of a puzzle, then it is fine. Otherwise, I will not advise that. Do not uh, start with the puzzles. Chalo, okay. Let's start it first. Parag, that is 100 percent correct. Please check it once more. You will realize I have not made a mistake. I cross check the answer once after that. Chalo, let's finish it and then we will discuss that. What is it about? Uh, seven people, A, B, uh, A, D, G, H, they are not in order. Uh, you will come to know straight away why like that. So, they are in a straight row facing north. It's fine, good. This is the most convenient setup uh, that you can get. They were seated such that no two males were seated consecutively. You will remember that. No two were seated consecutively. No three females were seated consecutively. You will remember that. So, that is something that you cannot forget. Now, this is an important one. No two persons whose names appear consecutively in alphabetical order were seated immediately next to each other. The moment I look at this, the first thing that I should do is look at uh, this thing. A, D, not consecutive. G, H, I, they are consecutive. So, which are the pairs that I am talking about? Which are the pairs that I am talking about here? So, I will write it separately because I will need space here. So, G, H is one such pair. Uh, it cannot appear together. H, I is another such pair. So, I am not writing it as G, H, I. I am writing it as G, H because G, H should not appear together. This uh, makes it very, very apparent. So, I have to ensure while arranging them that it does not happen. It does not happen. And what else? Uh, I, J, K and K, L. So, basically this whole thing, I mean if I do this, this has done the job for me. So, this whole thing here, yahan se lekar yahan tak, uh, okay. 
this has been summarized in what I have just drawn here. So, I know that G H, H I or K L, uh, these pairs cannot happen in my seating arrangement, right. So, I will not need to go back to this paragraph then and look at this what is there, they are just 5 statements should be doable then. So, you get a you know the moment you look at the puzzle you kind of realize ki data ka shad ho jana chahiye. give it 2 minutes if it does not seem to be happening move on. Anyway, let us uh, uh, go to the statements now, G was seated third to the left of K. I have got no clue where there are, but let us just draw it in a free flow manner. How would I do it? G is uh, seated third to the left of K. I will just draw it like that. If uh, this is K, this is G. Why is it like that? Because all of them are facing north. If K is facing north, J would, G would be uh, seated third to the left of K. Okay, second one, H was second to the left of D and both were females. H and D, I again have got no clue where there are in the arrangement. So, I will just draw it separately. H uh, second to the left of D. So, uh, okay, just let us just draw it like that. Uh, let us say, if I say that this is D, this is H. Circle means a female. Fine. So, H is second to the left of D means uh, uh, this is uh, the configuration that we are talking about. What I will also do here is that whenever you are drawing uh, uh, things like that just take care of these things. You remember no 3 females were seated to consecutively what I know is that this is a male. So, at times you forget all these things later I will just put it like that I know I do not know who this person is, but I know for sure that whoever this guy is that is a male. So, I will just put this box over here this box denotes a male. So, do these simple things that make your task easier in the end. We are done with the second statement look at the third one. A and K were of the same gender okay, and were seated at a gap of 1. So, there is one person between A and K. It can happen in two ways. So, one is that A comes here and other is that A goes on to the other side. So, what I will do is I will just make another one here. Fine. And since they are of the same gender, I will have to use some kind of notation. So, it has to be it can be any notation that just uh, you know kind of reminds you that they are of the same gender. So, I do this. This is no notation that is just for me that will remind me kyun lagaya tha maine bar. I put this bar over here to remind me that their genders are the same. Use these basic things they are for you you not need to explain them to anybody. Let us move forward number of persons. So, uh, you, I hope you understood what this is. So, it has to be either this or this one of the two and this is a parallel one number of persons seated to the right of H was twice as that of the number of persons seated to the left of I. Deco, a statement like this is generally very very important. This is the kind of statement with which you start, but since I am just showing it to you in the manner if you generally read the things otherwise I would have just started like uh, with a statement like this. How do you uh, decipher this number of persons seated to the right of H to the right of H if this is H was twice twice means it has to be a multiple of two. So, uh, if I just think about it, it can be like this. Let us say there are 2 people to the right of H. What are you saying? 2 people to the right of H means uh, 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 to the left of I would be 1. You can draw a configuration like that. Fine. Are you getting me? If I put 2 people to the right of H, 1 to the left of 1. If I put let us say 4 people uh, to the right of H. So, how many people to the left of I? 2. You should immediately realize that these are 7 people and they would clash then. Is not it? If I put just 4 people to the right of H and 2 people to the left of I. I am showing it to you, but when you just read this you should, should click to you that it is not possible. Uh, the reason is this one is not possible because H and I would then fall at the same place. What is the third possibility? 6 people to the right and then I would have uh, uh, how many? 3. This can be drawn. This is possible. So, it, it can be drawn in 2 ways. Uh, one is this 2 people to the right of H and uh, uh, 1 to the left of i or 6 people to the right of h and 3 people to the left of i. I hope this is understood. Let me just draw this then. So, uh, if I let us say draw this one first. So, 2 people to the right of h it shows like this. So, I will extend it here. So, these become the 4 people and uh, how many people to the left of i? It is just 1. So, i comes here. Simple not too much of a trouble here. So, for me this is gone. I have used this. This is in any case incorrect. And what else do I need to draw here? Just this one 6 people to the right of H and 3 people uh, to the left of I. So, I am just erasing this because I have I need space to draw it 6 to the right of H it is this and 3 to the left of I. There is a space constraint here. So, I will need to erase this I will just draw it for you. How would this be drawn? 
I'll start from here so that I do not get confused. This is H. One, two, three, four. It's all seven people. So you can see six people to the right of H and three people to the left of I. So where would I be? I would be in the middle here. Absolutely concrete, no doubt, nothing. So we have got two cases here and two cases here. It's just simple merging of them then. Jaldi dik jayega. Last statement, the person seated at the extreme ends were of the opposite genders. What would I do here? D is uh, female here in this upper one. So I'll put male here and H is female here in this one. So I'll put male here. Fine. What do you do now? You just try and merge this. I mean, I mean, jaldi mat karna isme. Just, just, just look at it carefully. It'll uh, click to you what's going to give me the answer. What can it be? I'm just showing that to you. For example, if I look at this first one here. So this has to either merge with this one or it has to merge with this one. One of the two. So start with any of them. If you luck is good, you'll get it fast. And if it's not, then also you'll get it fast after a minute then. So if you try fitting it uh, in here in this, you would realize here that there is no place actually to fit this into this one, lower one. Where do you get two consecutive spaces, two consecutive places? Can you see here that G and A are together? Where can you put two people together here? Just this place. I'm not putting them. I'm just observing them. There are just two vacant places here, here. But in that case, where would you put K? It means that this one cannot go in the lower one, just in the upper one. I hope you got this. Try putting it in the upper one. Where can it fit in? The only option is uh, if you put G here, A here and K here, that's the only possibility. Right. And it seems to have fit in uh, nicely here. And what is the last letter left? Can we put it here? What is it? L. Yeah. This looks good again. The genders of A and K are same. So A has to be male. It also is fine. If A is male, G has to be a female. So no two males can happen together. And if L is a male here, I also has to be a female. Just look if you have uh, done any kind of mistake here. No, this looks good. And we do not need to cross check or anything because we did not assume anything anywhere. So that's your answer here. Yeah. This is the correct one. That's your answer. In fact, you realize something that we did not even use this one. Had we started with this one, we would have probably used it because I uh, remember checking everything there. So when I tried fitting it, this one into these two, then uh, the elimination used all this. But in this one, we did not actually use it. Why did I start with this one? It, it's a more compact one. So it looked easier to check. We realized quickly that it will fit in. Even if you start with this one, not take more than you a minute to eliminate this. There is just one piece of advice for all of you here. When you do any such thing, when you are putting numbers like this or when you are putting data like this, if you are, uh, 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 it does not make too much of a difference to me, but when you are doing it in the exam and you are making cases, so use star marks. Star marks means that if you are, let's say, putting in data from this segment here, listen to it carefully, this segment here into something else here. So what you'll do is when you put G, put the star mark here. The reason is that you are saying that this is an assumption. I do not know if this is going to hold or not. Uh, what you should do ideally is that anything that you put into this bigger segment after this thing should be marked with some kind of a special mark because if it gives you a discrepancy somewhere, if you think that that's not right, you will need to eliminate or er erase it selectively. Otherwise, if you erase everything, they'll waste a lot of time for you. I hope you understood what I'm saying. If you are merging two segments, if you're putting this into this one, Fine. Just mark everything with a star if you have to mark and check. If it's very apparent, very visible to you, the way it was here, that will not fit in, then it's fine. But if you have to put in there the data and then check, then do it a little carefully, marking stuff. So I'll do this. The reason is that if it tells me at a later stage, ki, no, this is not going to happen. So I'll just erase this one, this one, all the ones that are marked with a star and nothing else. So I can start from the stage where I left actually. This is one way of doing it. Another way is that you start all the configurations parallelly. So that's good to explain. But when I'm doing it in an exam, an actual exam, 
I should look at the most probable case and try and crack it faster because you do not have to explain it to uh, anybody in the exam. In an exam, the idea is just to crack it faster. I, I hope you uh, got the message here. Fine, so you can just erase that. That's your final answer over here. What do you think about this? I, I think this paper was doable. And बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं तो 20-25 नंबर तो आने चाहिए थे इसके अंदर। ठीक है आशीष, if you take two minutes doing this, it's okay. I mean two minutes reading this. If you can crack it in the next three minutes, I'll be happy. Fine, but seven minutes is also fine. Harish, Harsh, that's that's okay. ठीक है, ये ये चलेगा इतना you can you can do that. How to avoid? Now it's time for all all those questions and all. Okay, so let me just move here from the screen. That's the message for you. Uh, you do not have to get stuck anywhere, absolutely anywhere. Okay, uh, let me just appear on screen then. Right, 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 right. Uh, Shayan, we cannot take OB Mock 2. Okay, first things first, uh, for all of you who have asked me something, uh, I have not read anything here. You can see that it was just a monologue going on for the last one hour. Fine. If you want to ask me something very sp specific, very small in the next 10-15 minutes, you can do that now. I have not read anything. Uh, two, Shayan is saying that uh, would we do mock 2? We cannot. The reason is uh, this is a free test. So we took permission from uh, Olive Board to do that. They said it's good, you can do that. So we did that like that. Uh, tomorrow would be English analysis for this taken by Ratnaba. Mock 2 is a paid test. So we cannot put that here on a free portal. You understand that? So we'll not do mock 2. We'll see. We'll, we'll do some other test. We are just thinking about that. So don't worry. It's it's not that this is going to be the only, only test. We are going to do something about it. But that's not going to be OB mock 2 for you. Uh, how can you be a part of my original regular classes? Uh, Ayush, it's a, it's a little late. If you're OK with watching the recordings, you can join that. But otherwise, it's a little late. We started a month back. OK. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, what is a safe score for SBI PO Pre? Uh, <laughs> it's a very difficult question to answer. Deko yaar, safe score does not mean anything. For example, if I tell you 50 is a safe score, what if the paper is easier? You'll be stuck over there. Fine. So do not go like this. Uh, don't chase a number. Try to maximize a score. For you, it's three tests. Just think like that. It's three tests for you. If it's three tests for you, I have to maximize my score in all three. A good test series generally would give you a variety of uh, papers. So, for example, here 99 percentile was 45. You might get a test here in which the 99 happens at a 60 or a 65. So, if I tell you a number, there will be a farce. It does not mean anything. Maximize your score in every test. Every test means uh, in each of these three tests rather basically. 20 minutes time is a killer. Yes, uh, I would not, uh, I would not, again, I'm not trying to scare you, but I would not mince words here. For me, the trouble area this time is going to be reasoning. This is this is reasoning. This is not maths. This is definitely not English for you, uh, because 20 minutes you will do all English. The problem here is that we keep telling you to do puzzles in the end, isn't it? I would still do that uh, because puzzles is a dicey business unless you are somebody so good in puzzles that you do nine out of ten puzzles and that too in three four minutes. So. Otherwise, I'll say do the rest of the questions first. You do those 15, 20, 15, around 15 questions first in reasoning. You'll be left with around 10 minutes. If you do those in 10 minutes, let's say, you'll be left with 10 minutes. In those 10 minutes, getting a couple of puzzles right is not that easy. I understand that. You might get the first one right if your selection is right. But the moment you look at that clock ticking that says three minutes left, four minutes left, it gets really tough. I understand that. I would not have any unrealistic expectations of you. Uh, it's, it's actually tough. So to get a 30-35 in reasoning this time would be a phenomenal achievement under that time pressure. People used to do that last time. I, I've seen people getting a 30-35 there in reasoning. But this time, under 20 minutes, with that time pressure, there might be a somebody who, who would get it in 20 minutes only. But when that's hanging over you, na, that, that sword of 20 minutes, that clock ticking, it gets doubly difficult. So it, it's, it's, it, it's a little tough, I understand, but uh, that's what the mocks are for. Try to hone your test taking skills, try to work on these things. For most of the people, uh, the rule of thumb I'll say would be, 15 questions first, inequality, coding, decoding, syllogisms, and whatever else it is. Direction, blood relations, I told you a way of directions, blood relations are simple, generally simple in this. Uh, these are simple blood relations, not those convoluted puzzles on blood relations. Do those first, then move on to the puzzles. Have a look at all four, give it one minute. Try to find out the first two puzzles and attempt. There will not be many people who will be doing all four. No, it will be very tough. You will have to probably basically select two out of four. Which two? That's extremely critical. After that, let's say you start with a puzzle in the 11th minute. After that, if you are not able to do anything in that for the next two minutes, leave that. 
I'm I'm saying that again and again and again at the cost of sounding very stupid here, for the simple reason that I've experienced this as a test taker myself. It's very difficult to leave a puzzle after you have devoted one two two minutes to it. Believe me, I understand that feeling. ऐसा लगता है कि आप पाप हो रहा है दो मिनट लगा दिया दो मिनट और लगाऊंगा तो हो जाएगा नो यू गेट गेट अ फीलिंग लाइक दैट बिलीव मी इट्स अ ट्रैप इट नेवर हैपन्स लाइक दैट इट हैज बिकम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ आई हैव ऑलवेज शेयर दीज थिंग्स विद यू बट नाउ इट्स ऑल द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सिंपल रीजन इफ यू गिव इट टू मोर मिनट्स जस्ट इमेजिन मिनट इलेवन लिख के समझ में आता है ना टू फोर्टीन पजल एन ईजी वन यू के नॉट डू दैट Imagine what would happen to you in the fifteenth minute. It has happened with me. It has happened with me in, in cat also. <laughs> Fine. If you do this to you, I'm, I'm, I can almost assure you, fifteenth to twentieth minute would be a complete waste. You would be so down and out by that time, by that you know that pathetic feeling. Four minutes, खराब कर दियो कुछ नहीं हुआ कि अगला भी कुछ नहीं होगा. Fine. So the moment you feel कि कुछ नहीं बन रहा है इसके अंदर, if it starts happening, it starts happening. You might still end up taking eight minutes in place of the planned five. But if it starts happening, you know it. At times it happens. After two minutes, you've got no clue. You cannot make any heads or tails out of it. What it means is these two minutes are gone. I would not do any further damage to my paper just to make sure that you can get uh, or I, you know, I extract something out of these two minutes. It never happens like that. Just be very careful. That's my only advice for you when it comes to uh, this puzzles or this reasoning section. I have, uh, I'm, I'm seriously, you know, uh, uh, looking forward to how you guys do in this uh, reasoning section. There are. there would most probably be no sectional cutoffs but if you do not do well in reasoning you might struggle in the overall cutoffs things you already know that this time it's not uh, 20x it's 10x that they are calling so uh, if you look at it last time they called around 50000 people for mains this time it'll be around 20000 people 20000 people it's going to be very difficult last time you remember i used to say puzzles to ye matlab prelims to sabka ho jayega i still say that all the good students should get through but it's not that easy it's not a cake walk i saw some people missing it last time this time aur zyada chance hai there will be people who would have who would probably just sail through mains if they clear the prelims so don't take it lightly this time i'm not saying ignore mains start reading you know keep reading gk and all do all those things but if you ignore prelims this time you're doing it at your own peril it's very very risky and this section reasoning might just mess it up completely take mocks uh, streamline it take reasoning sectional mocks if required if if you want to get one more buy one more get it it doesn't matter 500 700 rupees it's not going to matter but you have to master this 20 minute section reasoning this is extremely important it's not that i'm not concerned about quant and english and all no that's there but timing ka utna problem ha nahi hoga jitna reasoning mein hoga so just work on this then it's absolutely vinita sab kuch kharab ho jayega agar wahan par wo kharab ho gaya to Merit Chain and Olive Board are not the same. It's a separate organization. We work together. At times, we work together for certain projects. Um, so this is an analysis that we did for them, and uh, uh, you know, in our paid course, uh, we use their uh, study material and all. That's the thing. Otherwise, these are separate organizations. Math solutions we did yesterday. Uh, Pinky, we did maths yesterday. We did that yesterday. <laughs> Ashish, we cannot discuss OB marks. You know that. We're just planning to make a, you know, a couple of marks of ours. Let's see if that happens. They'll be good. Otherwise, we'll do something else. Don't worry about that. Right. Uh, I'm just reading it quickly, and then I'm just already. It's extremely hot over here. Yes, fifty would fetch a ninety-nine point seven. I think it was precisely that. Uh, when I was reading, uh, I was going through that chart today. It said between fifty and seventy-five. It was just point uh, uh, point three um, or point seven percent students, just like that. So for fifty in test, in this test is very very good. It's a it's a very good, wonderful score. ठीक है, चलो then I will just then wind it up. You know where to find me. Fine, I'll I'll keep appearing now. So that's that's going to be there. But the the advice would be that. what all i did today it's the idea was not to give you solutions the idea was to make you realize especially when it comes to puzzles they are doable they are doable even under time pressure the way i did them today here was very different from the way i generally explain i did it like the test taker fine so just go through them try and identify if you could actually have done something about them if not it's time to basically go back to the practice uh, mode when 
If you are somebody who do, does well in practice but could not do it here at the time of the test, it means that the problem is with that uh, you know exam uh, temperament, temperament to take the exam, uh, the the ability to maintain your composure, your calm, and things like that. If it's that the, that you still are struggling with this after my explanation and all, you need to go back to the drawing board. You need to work harder on getting your concepts right. This 20 minutes is going to be fun. I can <laughs> I can tell you that, but yes. Uh, too much fun is not too good as well at times. <laughs> uh, Ritesh will plan that. We'll plan that. All of you will come to know. You are there on the Facebook group. We'll we'll plan that. We'll either plan uh, you know some other mock or something. But this is not the only session that I'm that we are going to do on mocks. Uh, the next one will probably happen around in a week's time. Till that time, just work on the things that we have told you. Work on these things. Hone your skills. Come back stronger, better next time. Then that's the use. लोग बोलते हैं ना मैंने रोज एक एस टी लगाया रोज एस टी लगाने से कुछ नहीं होता है यार किसका एस टी लगाते हैं उससे भी कुछ नहीं होता है यू डू एन एस टी आई आई डू नॉट लाइक दिस टर्म टेक अ मॉक टेस्ट एनालाइज इट वेल द आइडिया शुड बी आई विल नॉट रिपीट एनी ऑफ दीज फाइव मिस्टेक्स दैट आई मेड इन दिस मॉक टेस्ट एंड दैट्स हाउ यू वर्क दैट्स हाउ यू इम्प्रूव आई डू अ मॉक डेली विदाउट डूइंग एनीथिंग अबाउट इट दैट्स एब्सोलूटली यूजलेस आई मीन ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत यूटिलिटी होगी but the actual use should be if i make a mistake in a question of venn diagram here because i did not realize that there are two h i will never repeat that mistake in my life again you work with this kind of zeal with this kind of passion and you will definitely improve there is there there are no two ways about it believe me theek hai theek hai theek hai chalo theek hai fir main akarshan yes you should go with your forte first i told you already Uh, do those first and then come back to puzzles ritesh will discuss that will discuss that quant uh, questions i'll say uh, use use affairs cloud use aspirant zone uh, uh, both of them have got a good collection of questions that should be if you want to use the sarvesh sharma or Arun, arun sharma you can use that that's also good theek hai chalo then i will just call it a day thank you very much i had a very good time interacting with you after a long time I would not disappear now. I'll keep appearing for the next one month, at least till the time of the exam. Fine. I had a good time interacting with you. Uh, wonderful. Wish you guys all the very best. Uh, practice hard. When you meet me next time, uh, come back stronger. Meet me with with a new set of questions, not with the same set of questions. Quant kaise karna hai? Ye hum log ek saal se jaante hain. Ek saal se hume pata hai. Ek saal se hum usko practice kar rahe hain. Kuch naya puchna. I'll be happier answering answering that to you. Fine. Then I'll just then take your leave. Thank you very much for your patience. God bless you. Wish you guys all the very best. Thank you.